Hello vendors, welcome to another video tutorial. This one is on setting a specific shipping cost. Now you don't have to do anything about shipping because customers are automatically being charged $350 for every product sold and you'll get that $350 for every item. So you can use that towards shipping costs um, and if it's not going to cover the whole amount of shipping then you might want to just adjust your price a little bit so that you don't lose any of your profits on shipping costs. However, if you really want to set a specific shipping cost for your item, this is how you do it. So first of all, log in, go to your vendor dashboard, sign in to your account, and you'll be taken to your vendor dashboard, which should look familiar to you by now. Hopefully you're having a great time setting up your store and adding products. But we're going to leave this vendor dashboard in order to set up a specific shipping cost, which again, remember, you don't have to do anything about shipping. 350 will automatically be charged. But if you want to change that amount, then you need to go up here to this black bar on top. This is how you get into the back end dashboard. So go over to Quirky Gifter, click Dashboard, and now you're in the back end. So you want to go down to Products. You're going to find your product and click on it. Okay, now here you'll see all the information of the product that you created on the front end vendor dashboard. Um, so scroll down until you see this little box here that says product data. You'll see the prices that you've put in and go on down to where it says shipping. And you don't need to do anything about weight and dimensions, but you do need to add the price that you want under shipping rules. Now this looks very strange and complicated and honestly it kind of is, but all you really need to do is insert a row, change the country code to US so that you're not ending up paying shipping costs um, to somewhere outside of the United States and then go all the way to the end where it says item cost and put in the amount that you want um, people to have to pay for shipping. So if you're selling some giant heavy um, product and 350 is just really not going to cut it because it's going to cost at least $30 to ship it, then go ahead and enter the price that you want right there. I'll say $30 and that's what customers will be charged if they purchase this specific product. So then just scroll back up to the top over here in this box on the right it says publish and you just want to make sure that you publish the product um, to make that um, stay. If you're not ready to publish the product yet then just click save draft and then you'll be done. And to leave the back end dashboard just go back up to quirky gifter and the black bar on top and click it and you'll be taken to the main screen you can find your vendor dashboard back on the menu on the right and there you go that's how you add a specific shipping cost if the 350 um, won't work for you good luck putting up your products. I'm so excited to see everything. Thanks for all your hard work.